Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another beat making video. Today I'm gonna be doing a Normani type of beat. Um, she's a pretty new artist. Well, she was in, I believe, Fifth Harmony, um, but now she's like doing her solo thing and her style is basically, I would say it's a mix of like Ariana Grande and Seven Streeter. So um, she's pretty cool. Doesn't have a huge catalog of songs to work with, but um, we'll, we'll make something happen. And if you're into beat making videos, definitely subscribe. I put out several beat making videos a week. Um, try to change the art, like the genre and the artist up as much as I can. If you have any recommendations, uh, definitely leave them in the comments below. And I'll uh, try my best to recreate their sound. But for today, we're doing Omani and we're gonna set the tempo to about 171. And let's open up contact. And we're going to grab um, Session Pro Horns. So we're just going for like a simple dance, um, like dance driven melody uh, with these horns here. So let me just lower this a bit. All right, cool. So let's throw this in the mixer and let's spice this up a bit. Throw a reverb on it. EQ it, soften it up a bit. Let's put Fruity Delay 3 on there, just set it to ping pong mode. And we'll throw Sound Good Eyeser on there. Just lower that quite a bit. Cool. Next, let's move on to the 808. Just in flex, gonna grab the 808 clean, put some drive in there, and uh, I'll ride it in a higher octave, then we'll lower it. Actually, let's put the clap down first. It might be a little easier to ride out the 808 once we hear where the clap falls. Um, so for the clap, I want something with, I mean, just anything with the K really. Just going to battery. Yeah, something like that. Let's just move this over. Mm -hmm. 
I promise this will sound better once we lower the octave. Okay, let's get a kick drum in there. I think I'm gonna go with just a 606 kick. Maybe 707, I don't know. Oh man. Hey, when that happens. All right, let's get let's get this kick down. See how it sounds with the 707. And too clicky. Yeah, I kind of like the bounce in that. Let's bring up the swing a little bit. Just gonna put some decay on this um, clap here. So I heard a lot of snare rolls in some of her tracks, so let's just get a bouncy 808 snare. Shorten it up. I mean, it was nothing crazy, just simple snare rolls, pitch them down. I think that could work. Um, let's get a hi hat. Shorten this up as well. I 
add a few rolls to it. That's too glitchy. Just bring this over. Take this off the grid a bit. this in the mixer all right so now we really got to fill this sound up because it's sounding pretty empty so I'm gonna go into m1 and I'm gonna go to uh, the synth motion tab just look for yeah these are like definitely 7th street type of sounds this is pretty cool Lower it a bit. So I'm probably just gonna write out a chord progression just to have under these under um the horns just just to give it more life. be too much movement in that I kind of like that. It definitely adds like a, a layer of atmosphere to this. I think it complements the horns pretty nicely, but I still want something else. Atmosphere. Let's go into.
Yeah, I kind of want like one of these harsh EDM tones. Just gotta find the right one. Yeah, so this might be something that appears like in the chorus on the hook of the song. Yeah, something like that. Like I said, I didn't really have a huge catalog to work with for this artist, but I know a lot of her songs have like that, that upbeat dance Ariana Grande feel, but still had that like seven streeter R&B element. So trying to combine a little bit of everything. But anyway, hope you liked it. And like I said in the beginning of the video, any artist um, you wanna hear me do next, Definitely uh, comment below, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.